During the winter, your hive actually stays outdoors. There's a drastic change of pace in the colony's day-to-day -day activities. The bees will form a cluster around the queen to conserve heat and contract their muscles to maintain an internal temperature of about 35 degrees Celsius. That's right, while it's snowing outside, there's a heat wave inside the hive. At the height of summer, worker bees have a life expectancy of about 30 to 45 days. In the winter, it's a whole different story. Because they stay inside the hive, they actually live longer, up to four months. If your hive doesn't have a queen or brood in the fall, it's impossible for it to survive winter. Before wintering a healthy hive, you need to be sure of two things. Firstly, that the colony has enough reserves to last the winter. That's why we supplement with syrup. Secondly, it's essential that you treat the colony with formic acid to reduce the presence of Varroa to a minimum. If you have any questions, check out the two videos we've dedicated to these topics. The first thing you need to do is find a suitable location for the hive, well protected from harsh winds. If necessary, don't hesitate to move your hive in order to protect it from harsh winds. This spot is perfect. The wall protects it from the wind. Now that the temperatures have dropped below zero degrees, it's time to winterize this hive. I'm gonna show you the alveol method of protecting the hive for winter. To begin, I like to place the insulating styrofoam on the inner cover with the hole underneath facing the front of the hive. Then we remove the entrance reducer and the tray on the bottom of the hive. It's super important that there be enough ventilation Otherwise, the heat inside the hive and the cold outside will create condensation. In fact, it's actually humidity more than the cold that will harm your colony. Next, we put the thermofoil around the hive. It's important that the insulation fit tightly against the sides. You want to make sure that the slits align with the corners of the hive and that the hole at the top aligns with the hole in the insulation. This helps ventilate the hive and further reduce the humidity inside. To finish, you fold the thermofoil down like a big gift and tape it down like this. Finally, we'll put the cover back in place. It should fit perfectly and reinforce everything to make sure our insulation stays put all winter. And there you go, your hive is well protected and ready for the cold season. But your job doesn't end here. Throughout the winter, take advantage of a heavy snowfall to completely cover your hive. It's a great insulator. Just make sure that your entrances are always clear.